Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out this video. This video is going to be a quick and dirty review of Country Candles Cotton Candy Clouds. So this is, Country Candle is like um, an offshoot of Kringle Candle. Kringle makes them. It's just their paraffin jars that look like the Yankee Candle jars. They make medium and large ones. And this here is a medium. So this is paraffin wax. Kringles are moving towards all soy, whereas the Country Candle is paraffin. And yeah, this is country. This is country candles, cotton candy clouds. Not much else to say about the like basics of it. This is a medium jar, like I said, that is 16 ounces. I think the burn time, the burn time is up to it's upside down, but it's like 75 hours, I think. Let me see if I can flip it. Uh, yeah, 75 hours. 65 to 75 hours. So that is uh, a medium jar. The large jars are obviously bigger. The scent description on this is sugar, pink berry, vanilla, sweet, vanilla bean, and spun sugar. Now I will just tell you right now, I love this fragrance. That was me shutting my iPad. <laughs> Very dramatic. I love this fragrance. I think that this is such a good cotton candy fragrance. I love it. It's sweet. It reminds me of summer and fun times and sunshine. I just, I really enjoy the fragrance. As for the burn, not so much. Not so much at all. So as you can see, it's this beautiful blue color. Obviously it discolors, that happens with paraffin. It is what it is, there's not much you can do about that. But this, it's this gorgeous, gorgeous light blue, sea foamy kind of green color. It's just so pretty. And then the label of course is pretty as well. So this is how far I burned it. <laughs> I wish I could have better things to say. It does discolor, and if you can see here, it's sooting. It's not, she's not behaving super great. Yeah, you can see the soot. I'm just going to take my finger and rub it on there, and you can see it's, it's black. The oils in here are a lot. You can see the little oil pockets, and that made me have really high hopes for this candle. Unfortunately, it's just too light. It's just too light for me. Also, look at these wicks. It's going to be super hard to to get this in the in the camera, but these wicks, they do not cut like normal wicks. They kind of fray and really just they don't cut well. So I, they they just give me a lot of problems with being tall and sooty and it's just I just ugh, I don't love. But yeah, as for the fragrance Great candy fragrance, like I said, uh, cotton candy fragrance. The burn, not great. And the strength and throw. This is super, super light, you guys. I mean, maybe like a two and a half out of three. Maybe the throw is like non-existent because it's just not even strong enough to leave the bedroom that I'm burning it in. It's just, it's just not. And I've given it a fair shot. I feel like burning it all the way you know, burning it all this way. I feel like I've given it a fair shot. It just, it just doesn't give me what I want. So I am going to put this in my candle crock and report back in the empties videos that I do at the end of the month to see if it performs better in the crock. I'm thinking that it will because like I said, it's such a nice fragrance. Truly just like a blue and pink cotton candy. You know, when some um, companies put spun sugar in the notes, it smells caramely. That is not the case here. It smells like truly like that specialized sugar that you put in the cotton candy machine and then you make it all fluffy and beautiful and tasty. <laughs> so yeah, cotton candy clouds, not a repurchase. I do have a large jar of it because I loved the fragrance so much on cold and so many people loved it and raved about it that I did buy a large jar. I am just going to crock that right away, probably over the summertime, but yeah. I'm gonna put this bad boy in the candle crock so we can stop sitting up my house <laughs> and hopefully give me some strength and throw. But yeah, that is my very quick review of Cotton Candy Clouds. I think that if they boosted the fragrance notes in this and put it in the soy in the Kringle, oh my God, I think it would be a home run. An absolute home run. <sighs> that would be amazing. I wish we could start a petition for Kringle to like put some fragrances in that they have in country candle in the Kringle candle. Oh my God, that'd be amazing. Cause there's so many I want to try, but this paraffin, it just, it doesn't do it for me. The soy Kringles are 
chef's kiss delicious amazing flawless beautiful queens country candle not so much not so much <laughs> so it is being banished to the candle crock and i'm gonna really hope that it gives me some more oomph give me a little bit more fragrance because i want it because it smells amazing absolutely amazing i think also if they have this in wax melts i don't know if they have it in wax melts but i would definitely purchase them in wax melts because it's that good of a candle but that's it. That's it for my review. <laughs> Let me know down below if you have tried Cotton Candy Clouds, if you are interested in trying it. I say go for it. Try it for yourself. And if you have a candle crock or a lamp, that would definitely be beneficial because if it does dud out, then you've got backups, backup options, I should say. But yeah, let me know down below if you tried it, what your thoughts are. I like it, but it's just not, not enough for me. But that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.